Let's say for fighting, yeah, not like, weightlifting. Like in general, the biggest leeway right now is in the bioidentical compounds. So that's things that you would normally produce because it becomes very difficult to discern between what is supposed to be there versus not supposed to be there. So you get this massive leeway, not massive, but like far more substantial than you would with a synthetic drug that's never supposed to exist. Mm -hmm. If you're comparing Winstrol versus Test, it's like, is Winstrol ever supposed to be there in your body at any quantity, even a micro amount? No. So it's like, <laughs> even if you have like a micro speck of it, you're going to get pinged. So yeah. if you have tests though, it's like, oh, well, I guess you fall within this cutoff, but do you have like a uh, UGT 2B17 enzyme problem or like a deficiency whereby you can uh, metabolize drugs differently than the next guy or lack thereof? So you have a different T to EPT ratio. And then from there, you know, do we carbon isotope ratio test you or did you fall within our parameters that we didn't even follow up and try that because it was out of our budget because we're not going to do that with every athlete right. so like in general i think the bioidenticals have the most leeway and is probably what is the lowest hanging fruit if i was to identify something